Auckland Airport and Queenstown Airport have formed a strategic alliance. Can you tell us a bit more about this? Well, simply put, it's an agreement between both airports to grow traveller numbers for the benefit of both airports, both regions and for New Zealand. And Auckland Airport has put some skin in the game by taking a 24.99% stake in Queenstown Airport by providing some new equity to help grow that business. What's the rationale? For this alliance? Well as New Zealand's major gateway airport with over 70% of international visitor arrivals we feel a strong responsibility to make a, a big contribution to growing tourism to New Zealand and one of our strategies in that regard is to partner with like-minded airports uh, so that we can present much stronger multi-destination offers to international airlines and the travel industry. How is Queenstown Airport performing right now? Oh, look, Queenstown Airport's performing very well. Arguably, we are Australia and New Zealand's fastest growing airport. Um, we've had double digit growth the last five years, and uh, the year just gone by, we've had 41% growth in international and 15% in domestic alone. So, um, all good news, but the sting in the tail, of course, is uh, we are doing a substantial amount of planning on infrastructure, and uh, we've uh, got a plan into the future on that. Why Queenstown? Queenstown would be widely regarded, I think, as New Zealand's premier tourist destination, and that's evidenced by the fact that its airport is New Zealand's fastest growing airport. We think Queenstown will be a great complementary destination to Auckland, and, uh, and I think we've proven that working together with Queenstown can grow passenger numbers, because we've been doing that informally in partnership with them for a year or so. It really does strengthen the proposition to international airlines when we're trying to encourage them to fly to New Zealand to present both the North and South Island experience um, as a single powerful package. How does this alliance benefit the Auckland region? Well, by working with Queenstown Airport and the airlines which serve us both, we'll be, we'll be managing much more efficient uh, travel itineraries for international visitors built around a dual destination proposition and we're confident in doing that, that we can substantially grow the visitor nights uh, that are spent in Auckland, as well as in Queenstown, um, as has been our focus for the last few years. How will the Alliance benefit the Queenstown and Queenstown district economy? Well, Queenstown's quite unique in New Zealand. Its whole economy is based on tourism, and uh, one of the big benefits with the strategic alliance with Auckland Airport is that we will focus on delivering more passengers and more tourists into the region and we're estimating that will be up to $150 million um, by 2015. What will the Alliance deliver for Queenstown Airport? Well, Queenstown Airport is very important to Queenstown in the Lake District region. And of course, international tourists are um, you know, one of our biggest focus to benefit the, the uh, local economy. And working with um, Auckland Airport and the, on the Strategic Alliance, obviously we can uh, work on promotion, uh, route development, which can only benefit uh, everybody in the region. Earlier this year, you announced an investment in Cairns and Mackay airports in Queensland. How does this alliance fit with that investment? It's part of our growth strategy, uh, which is all about growing visitor numbers to New Zealand. Cairns is a leisure-focused destination. It, uh, it's working on growing Asian visitor numbers using low-cost carriers. That's the same strategy Auckland has been uh, driving and is a really good fit uh, with the Queenstown strategy as well. So all in all, we think the package um, of all of these airports working together uh, will, uh, will strengthen our proposals to international airlines.